If you're a Rebirth Island fan, you've been waiting for this moment. Almost 500 days, and as the weeks got closer and closer, and we're now down to just about a day until Rebirth is finally back, it's almost as if Warzone is finally saved. And today, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about Rebirth Island to hit the ground running, to go get those nukes right away and complete that champion's contract, to level up in ranked play and maybe even get Iridescent or Top 250, to complete all the easter eggs that you want to complete and just have a good time on rebirth island now when you get ready to drop into rebirth island at noon eastern on wednesday and 9 a.m pacific many of you will be dropping in for the very first time the first time that you depart from that airplane it's gonna feel very special rebirth island has a particular flow to it a circular path that allows for a lot of gunfights rotations and action but it all starts from prison so if you've never landed in in rebirth time to hit that alcatraz prison and roof and prove that you're the top dog now if you've landed in rebirth before because you played in warzone 1 you no doubt know that but make sure to look for infill strikes before you drop in because different pois will blow up around the map making it a lot more difficult to land get loot and play your regular rotations but with the new dynamic weather as well as these info strikes it's gonna make it more fresh and new than you've ever experienced before if you're a little bit more of a passive player or newer to warzone i recommend landing at a place like living quarters or the brand new industry which is replacing decon from warzone one landing at a place like living quarters allows you one to get cover immediately and two to be able to have a little bit of a safer landing land in one of the side houses or on the back part of industry and you should be able to loot up and have a gun before you actually get in a gunfight if you've landed in rebirth before you know that sometimes that's a luxury sometimes you gotta resort to the fist or the classic pistol. So if you happen to have a Renetti, that's one of your best options. But funny enough, all the loot that you used to grab on Rebirth Island is exactly the same. According to the most recent Rebirth Island trailer, the Beanox developers wanted Rebirth to feel like a mirror split image the Rebirth Island you enjoyed in Warzone 1. Meaning that Easter eggs and classic guns that you can find on the ground are in the same location. So if you land at the water tower and you go to grab a gun, It'll kind of feel like deja vu because everything's right where you left it. And speaking of Easter eggs, they're not a bad way to start at all. So if you land at the big ship outside Nova or now Factory, you can go in and honk the horn and also get some supreme loot to start off your game. The same thing can be said on the ship on the other side of Control Center, where once again, you can honk the boat and you can play the Easter eggs just like you did in Warzone 1. The only question? Will the Milano Red Room Easter Easter egg still be in the house next to grandma's house well there's no milano in the game but maybe a wsp9 build one thing's for certain the bunker that's over by stronghold is still there and all you have to do is jump off that hill by stronghold near living quarters and look directly under that staircase and you'll see a bunker entrance with a lot of loot and maybe even one of the new kill streaks like foresight that's making a return from warzone one and that will show you every single circle on the map if you get it, allowing you to more easily win games on Rebirth Island. So really, before you get ready to drop into Rebirth Island, make sure that you go in with a plan. Pick a POI that you want to land at, but of course, mix it up and be fresh, especially if it's your first time. But get ready to grab a gun and push immediately because Rebirth is fast-paced action. Unlike Vondel Park, where there's a lot of space in between POIs, enemies, and gunfights, or Ashika Island, where there's a much bigger map for the amount of players there, Rebirth Earth is a tight, fast environment, and you're gonna find yourself in a fight and being pushed unless you're the one pushing. Landing with your teammates is not a bad idea in the new Rebirth Island because one, you have to try to prioritize getting that loadout. Of course, if you're in solos, you can get it for 8,000, but it goes up by about 2,000 every single time you add a player to your squad. With the new squad streak, when you land with your teammates, you can get things like a UAV, extra cash, and loot, allowing you to quickly regain, get it going, and to push to the next POI and get more eliminations. Now, after you kind of get the game going in Rebirth, it kind of plays itself out. There's gonna be people rotating into you, and it's all about taking those pivotal high ground positions. At Living Quarters, taking that largest rooftop is the most difficult, but yet the most optimal position, but it's guarded by one single staircase. The Lighthouse Tower almost always has somebody sniping in it, and as the circle closes on it, it's gonna be more and more important to close it off. On Control Center, of course, taking that roof is vital, but it's not more vital 
than getting that prison rooftop. But beware of flanks because on the prison rooftop, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat and a lot of ways to flank your team. Ultimately, Rebirth is about pushing yourself to the limit to try to get kills, have fun, and then trying to pull off some sort of gas player crazy rotation in the end game. With a new underground tunnel added recently over by Biolabs, and of course the tunnel that was under prison for as long as Rebirth's been out, really, there's a lot of options to flank and maneuver around the island. So the only question is, where are you dropping with your squad on April 3rd, aka tomorrow? Now, guys, I hope you have gotten some value out of this mini documentary here. And if you have, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because we've got a lot of Rebirth Island content coming and nobody likes somebody who's not subscribed. Well, no. If you're not subscribed, I'm going to win your subscription one day. You just wait.